What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So today's gonna be a short one. I just wanna kinda touch on really briefly my return strategy and how I actually handle returns across Amazon, eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. So it is pretty simple and they're slightly different for each platform. So to get it out of the way first and foremost, on Amazon and eBay, it's pretty straightforward, okay? I accept all or most returns, assuming they're not something like crazy like 10 months later or you know it's blatantly obvious that they're trying to pull a scam. And in most cases, probably 99.9% .9 of cases, even if I understand or see that they are, the buyer is trying to scam me, right? Or one up me or return a product that I knew wasn't effective or whatever it is, right? Whether it's on eBay or Amazon, I'm usually just gonna accept the return request anyway and refund their money, okay? A lot of times I'll just refund their money and I won't even make them ship the product back. Why do I do that, you ask? A lot of people might handle that differently. I personally would rather protect the account health of my eBay and my Amazon account because I understand that it, the, I would prefer the privilege of continuing to make profit on those sites rather than you know the profit of the one-off sale that the customer might either be unhappy with or being you know trying to scam me for lack of a better word. Okay, that's my viewpoint. That's how I handle Amazon and eBay. Pretty straightforward. I pretty much just accept all returns and I refund them right away. A lot of times I don't even let them or make them ship the product back, okay? Poshmark and eBay, or Poshmark and Mercari, excuse me, are slightly different, okay? So Poshmark, first and foremost, you have to understand with Poshmark that buyers on Poshmark don't actually see the ratings that other buyers have, give, have given you, okay? So they're unaware of what you've been rated across all your transactions. You could have like, you know, 100 one-star transactions and 150 transactions and a really, really horrible rating, but they're never gonna see that, okay? That said, the Poshmark internal team will see that, okay? So what I'm trying to say here is on Poshmark, you don't have to accept returns. I don't usually accept returns, and I rarely get return requests on Poshmark. There have been a few. The only time I would say to accept a return request on Poshmark is if you blatantly you know, miscategorize the item or you, you know, basically put in a wrong condition, right? So if you've described the item right, and you've used product pictures that actually are that item and not a replica of that item, or you know, for example, right, a perfect example of this that will kind of you know lock it into you know how you should approach it, right? Is a lot. I see a lot of people trying to game the Poshmark system or game the eBay system or anything like that, and list like new list use shoes as new shoes that are like just scuffed or something like that. In that case, and if a buyer were to ask for a return request, I would say you probably should do it because if you have too many of those, eventually it's gonna lead to consequences on your account, whether that's Poshmark, Mercari, or any of the other ones, right? On top of that though, it's really just kind of bad business to do that. So the only times I would say to accept a return on Poshmark is if you've miscategorized the item or you're trying to sell something that's used as new and the buyer catches you. And I don't even recommend doing that in the first place, okay? But for 99.9% .9 of all Poshmark transactions, and keep in mind I might have faced, I don't even know, three of these overall in the entirety of the time that I've been selling on Poshmark. So the only time that I would do it with the, with, are with those uh, specific situations, but 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm not gonna accept a return request because I demonstrated, obviously, with the pictures and the listing, what the actual item is, and by the way, I actually categorized it as the right condition, so if for whatever reason the buyer gets it and they're unhappy, that's, you know, for lack of a better way to put it, that's not necessarily on me, okay? So I don't accept those, those in those situations. And in a lot of times, if you have good metrics and you have a history of servicing customers well on Poshmark, what Poshmark will do is they'll just accept it for both parties, right? Because it goes into like a dispute and kind of like a, uh, a middleman type of thing in escrow. So you get the money a lot of times if you have good seller metrics, Poshmark will just be like, we decided to refund you and we let the buyer keep the item and refunded them as well. But that's only if you have good seller metrics, okay? And that's only if you don't have a history of doing that, trying to pull the wool over customers' eyes, so to speak, okay? That's Poshmark, and that's eBay and Amazon. For Mercari, it's a little bit different because on Mercari, it's a lot like eBay or Amazon, where buyers can see your review or your reviews and your ratings, okay? So, 
I've only actually had out of about 500 transactions, two return requests or issues at all on Mercari. The first one was a buyer basically said that it wasn't delivered when it clearly was. And in that aspect, I literally just showed the Mercari team that, hey, here's the tracking number. It says it's been delivered. The buyer's claiming that I didn't deliver it to their house or that they never received the package. And Mercari obviously sided with me. Now, they, were, they basically released my funds, so I made the money on it and I didn't ever have to deal with that buyer again. And on top of that, I believe that they refunded the buyer as well, a lot like Poshmark does, although that's their prerogative to decide whether or not they wanna do that. Maybe the buyer has a history of doing that or not, but that's the only time that I basically didn't authorize a return request. The other time was one where the buyer got it and I actually had categorized the item correctly. I had taken the right product pictures, but the buyer got it and was unhappy with the actual item that they received, okay? So they basically said it wasn't as described, it was lighter and it was like a thinner material. And I literally Really had all the, the specs in there, the entire description in there, the product pictures in there. So it wasn't my fault. I didn't misrepresent the item in the listing, okay? But in that aspect, it's really up to you to decide what you want to do. I was more concerned with the long-term, uh, you know, basically reviews of my Mercari account because now that I have a great five-star rating, right, across like hundreds of reviews, buyers just buy with me, uh, buyers just buy from me now, excuse me, with trust, okay? So it's really, really valuable to get that store rating up and kind of maintain that high rating. So in that aspect, I think that was a few months back when I didn't necessarily have as many reviews. So I just went ahead and I was like, I'll refund your, your purchase, you can just keep the item, it's fine. Because I wanted to maintain a happy customer and I didn't want to get a one star review for like a $10 profit margin, okay? So you gotta make that judgment call for yourself because on Mercari, obviously the buyers can see the ratings and your store rating goes a long way to actually sell more for you in the future. And that's basically how I handle return requests and you know my return strategy on all those platforms. If you have any questions at all on it, Drop a comment down below, I would love to answer that for you. But I hope that helps for you guys. I actually got this question a few days ago and I thought it'd be a great opportunity to turn into a video because I've never made a video on this before and I'm sure a lot of people actually have this question. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed your Valentine's Day, I hope you enjoy your holiday coming up and I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend.